I've been doing a lot of things like uh, to change change um, a lot of minds, a lot of uh, beliefs of a lot of people. And I like and I like to be like this because you know I help I help a lot of people like uh, people who've been deported, people who've been uh, uh, I don't know like l school interrupted, like uh, they don't finish school or something, but they just want to be something else or so be an artist. And I just try to be part of that, their lives, you know. That's something that made me feel good. That part of the beach, right? On playas, all the way to the end, like 600 square meters. Then we went to the other end, two kilometers was here. So we start painting that way to kind of to get, you know, like uh, get uh, together, you know, like the union to match. And like this one right here was one of the immigrants who was walking by. Alonso took a picture. And he draw it up. You can see everything, everything what we what we have here in the border, what we live for. To be an artist is to be. I always say like to be noble, like to be a, a simple a guy, just expressing yourself. You know, like that's what I do. And. When I, when I came the first time, they invited me to do something for immigrants. I said, you know what, that's, that's one of the reasons why I, I think I'm here. Help artists, help people, uh, promote, promote uh, all the, the things that are happening here and why they're happening here. I always say like this border for some people is uh, a line to separate. With this project, it's the line of union of people. We like to, to leave a message for the people, for the world. It all started about Roger Waters from Pink Floyd. So among the records that they have, there is one that's called Animals. And they talk about pigs on the wings. So that's why I included the pigs on the wings and the big ass pig as well. There is a dream we all follow. And uh, there's people that along the pursuit of their dreams are being chewed up by pigs. Art should be like that, should denounce, it should perturbate the comfortable and comfort the perturbate. Being an artist is a very challenging, difficult, but it's worth it. It's very rewarding. You go home after a day of uh, working and doing what you're passionate about, you're gaining already.
here, like the people is driving, they can see the snake over here. They're gonna see like a big snake hiding or came, coming from there, you know? Quetzalcoat is a, is a, the, um, the god of the uh, knowledge. And also for me, it's like the, the part of the roots that they can people see, like we use painting the roots, you know, with knowledge, kind of like that. You see? The first time I crossed the border was from Tijuana by the hill, eight years old with my mom. That, that was, uh, uh, if you wouldn't want to know why I'm doing this also, this is a story because I'm a, I know how, to, how, how it is to be an immigrant. I know what is the, the, the feel to cross the border, legally and illegally, to live the American dream on this side. I know what is the feeling. Because I know what is the feeling to be an immigrant. The crosses had uh, the names of the people uh, who died trying to cross the border. There was a sign that it says, uh, Cuantos mas? How many more? And sometimes when, when in the night, when there is fog, you can see people here just waiting, like, like if they were just to cross. A lot of people uh, say something about immigration, but they don't know how, wh what is immigration? If you don't see it, how we live in the border. Like we saw that every weekend. We saw a lot of immigrants, we see the border patrol, you know, taking, we, we see a lot of deportations, we see a lot of things happen. That's what I, I can say, like, anyone can go there and paint. Feel free to do it. So what we try to do is connect the people to that feeling, to that uh, situation here. Painting, expressing themselves and the border, you know, of, of peaceful messages. can say the mural is a story of some place, some, some part of the world. A caravan of Central Americans heading toward the U.S. President Trump is threatening to cut aid to three countries for letting those migrants leave. On a punishing journey to the U.S. border, and it's still just the beginning. 
migrants from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador continue to make their way north, fleeing poverty, persecution, and gang violence. They already been walking, you know, from El Salvador, Guatemala, all the way. They cross all the country to see uh, hope, to see something different, to try to live the American dream, how they say. Next week they're gonna try to get into the United States again, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna make it. I went there with the group. Uh, there are people from uh, Guatemala, from uh, Honduras. They, they were like uh, playing with their balloons. I asked them if they want to come over and paint, and they, they were like all so excited, like, hey, yeah, let's go paint. So that's a really nice feeling, you know, to, to see all the kids paint with us here at the border wall. Oh. It's at the moment where they don't know exactly what's going on. They just follow their family, and they just do whatever they can. So since I started, I said, you know what, it's gonna be painting for like four months. Now I have, I'm going to get 12 months already painting. And every weekend I saw the, the messages, you know, and people who call me and say, you know what, it's a great project. So that's my motivation every day. That's uh, something what I think we can, we can change their minds. We can change uh, uh, a lot of things, you know, for the people. The people who came every, day, every weekend, they say, you know what, that's what I feel. That's what I like, that's that feeling to touch the, the border wall, you know, touch it and, and paint it, you know. Something like you can really do for yourself and for the people, for the community. Just run straight I like to be a social artist, you know, so I just always try to be connected with the people. I like to be more like public, to be a, a, a one of those guys who organize events and art events like this. We all like invite people to get connected with the kids, like that the, the kids can know the tradition, the, uh, the uh, life what we have here in the border.